Hey everyone, it's Allison. Welcome back to The Tiny Herd, where we talk about everyday pet care for guinea pigs, rabbits, and other small pets. Today's video, I'm going to be sharing more about the other small pets portion of that. I told you guys last week and over on my social media that I was getting a pair of rats. I had a huge pet supply haul showing you everything that I got for them. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you more about them, showing you their final cage setup, giving you a little cage tour, and introducing you to the rats themselves. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so what we're gonna do in this video is I'm going to explain a little bit about the rats and why we got them, that sort of thing, and then I'm gonna show you their cage, give you a little mini cage tour, and then introduce you officially to the boys. So to start off with, just really quick, there's no like major story about the rats or anything like that. I have a habit of checking our local Humane Society website to see if there's any small animals for adoption and they actually had three male rats that they were working on either finding foster homes or adopting out. I had wanted rats before, like I've always kind of wanted them. They're really smart. I just think they're really interesting and they were a pet that is nothing like really any of my other pets except for the mice. They're a little bit similar, but there is a lot of difference between the care of all of my other animals and rats. So I sent the link to my boyfriend, we kind of talked about it, and we actually decided to go ahead and start setting things up for them, see if we could put in an application to see if we could adopt them. And it actually happened that later that week, we went down and we did a meet and greet with them, got to meet them, and I knew after we did that that it was going to be one of those things where it was just going to work out. So we got to meet them, it went really well, Ollie came out and talked to us, <laughs> talked to us, but you know, he came out to the cage, he let us pick him up, he seemed really interested in what was going on. The other one seemed more shy, but still interested in what was going on. So we decided we were gonna go ahead and adopt them. I ordered all of their stuff that you guys saw in that haul. I worked for the week to get things set up and ready for them. And then I did pick them up that Friday and brought them home. So we have had them now for about a week and a half, almost two weeks by the time you guys see this video. And it's been really, really good so far. They're settling in and it's been going pretty well. They're very smart and Ollie is hand taming really fast. Noodle is starting to come out of his shell. So it's been going really well. But that's the whole background story of the rats and why we got them. I do want to mention if you haven't seen any of my previous videos, I have a lot of animals. I have um, 13 pets right now, now that we have the rats and I do work full time, so it is a lot, but my boyfriend and I have the goal of opening a small pet rescue in our area, so for rabbits, guinea pigs, rats, mice, hedgehogs, um, all those different kind of animals that get kind of overlooked or shelters won't take. So because of that, my plan over the next, you know, years, because this is going to be a multiple year thing that it's gonna take a while for us to have the money and the means and all of those different things to get things set up. In the meantime, as I'm able to and have the time and money available to do so, I am adopting animals to be my own pets so that I can learn about their care and also help give animals that needs homes homes while I have the ability. So by the time we're able to have a rescue, I should have some pretty good experience taking care of a lot of different types of animals. So that will translate well for me into a rescue setting. So just to give you guys a little bit of background there. But I'm gonna stop talking now and we're gonna go ahead and show you guys the cage and introduce you to the boys. All right, so this is the rat cage. This is the Midwest Critter Nation. I'm just gonna show you guys a quick tour of it. I'll open it up and then introduce you guys to the rats. So this is the double Critter Nation. So you can see they have both pieces or both sections, I guess. And then we do have some organization underneath. The rats are both eating right now, so it's a good a time as any to open it up. So I just have the top level in here with the litter box. They're eating their snacks right there. Then I just have a Sputnik, some hanging baskets. There are hanging baskets all the way around, if you can see back there. And then there is a lava ledge 
and a net. They have a water dish. They have a ball pit to be foraging. There's So I put food down in there and they have to find it. They have a house. And then on this side, they have a hammock and then some ropes and then another basket down there. It's kind of hard to show you guys just because I'm not sure what the rats are going to do yet. I don't think they would try to jump, but sometimes Ollie scares me a little. And then on the bottom level, we just have, like I said, there's a basket. I have another actual Critter Nation level with the ramp. There's a litter box down there and then a hide in a tube. And then I did put a cement mixing pan in the bottom to put bedding in. And then they have, of course, a couple water bottles attached to the outside. And I didn't mention they have a foraging wheel up on the top. So let's go ahead and introduce you to the raddies. Back up, little guy. So this guy up front here, this is Ollie. I call him Oliver. He is definitely the most outgoing of the two. He just likes to be the center of attention. And then that little timid guy behind him is Noodle, who just grabbed the pumpkin seed and ran off. So, see, I don't, I don't know what he's going to do. He seems like he wants to jump, so back him up a bit. So they are about seven or eight months old, so they're not super old. Um, they're pretty energetic. Noodle's definitely more laid back and shy, while Ollie is very adventurous and outgoing. He wants us to pay attention to him at all times. You can see him down there. But they go all over their cage. They love to play fight. Noodle will come out of his shell eventually. He likes to hear us talk to him. He'll do his little boggle of his eyes. If you don't know what that is, that's the thing that rats do when they're, like, content. Um, so it's nice to see that they're settling in, and I think they are enjoying their, their new space. They had only one section of a critter nation at the animal shelter, so I think they're enjoying having a lot more space. Hi, you don't need to get on my camera, sir. He's literally on my camera right now. Okay, I'm gonna, oh, are you going down? Going down your ramp? Go find your snacks. We're gonna talk to Noodle. They're just so dang cute and they're so smart. Hi, buddy. You good boy. But it's been really fun to have them and I just know as they come more out of their shell, it's just gonna be more and more fun. Ollie's gonna be hand tame pretty soon. I know it's just going to be a matter of time before we can hold him without him trying to jump out of our hands. So Noodle will take a little more time. You can see he's a little shy and timid here. He'll go to the back when he feels uncomfortable, but I mean, you just saw him come up to the camera. So he's slowly but surely, I think as Ollie is getting more confident and he's seeing that, he's coming out of his shell a little bit more. But he is a very cute little man. All right, so you can hear Ollie drinking water, but I'm gonna let them go back to eating their food. They're still a little bit shy and they're not super excited about the camera. So I'm gonna leave them alone, but you guys at least got to see them and meet them and hear a little bit about them. See a little mini cage tour. So you can expect some cage tours in the future. I'm already planning on doing a Halloween cage. You drink so loud, sir. I'm already planning on doing a Halloween and a Christmas cage, so I'll be doing cage doors in the future. But let me know if you guys have any questions or comments down below. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed getting to meet the new rats. I will be sharing more of them in the future. Let me know what you think down below. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I post new videos every Tuesday and Friday. Thank you guys again so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!